Chantei Moash, tem na petiza pi. Na me taki pi. I hunk to a na kota. Na. Bde hunk a Edward T. Oe me taki pi. Na. Oskate. Kide na. Wocheke na yahi wopi da tranka e. Na. Oskate oyate ki na. Onke apo he. Wacheke. Oye, Trunkashina, Wakantanka. Kati, Lopa, Chimakana, Trunkashina, De Ampetukina, Yahi, Wopida, Tanka. Na, Trunkashina, De Ampetukina, Okali Chasha. Na, Ho, Na, Wakayado. Na, Yahi, Wopida, Tanka. Na, Oyate, Shaki, Na, Makasi, Tomnia. Na, Ushikida, Pona, Trunkashina, Wakanta, Akina, Wapia. Na wa chewi chasta, na wa chewi ya. Na wa kainja ki na makasi tomnia. Unshikida po na. We chose an ino woki na wo yakida ki na we choni aska. Na makaki jiji o wa cheke. Na trunkash na leon petu ki na ihana ki na wo unspe. Na yahi wopida tranka e. Na chanku sha ki mawani wa shte shte kte wopida he na trunkash na. Na trunkash na wa kantanka. Na ate na dexime traki na shuka kanghi na wakanta ki na wapia he oi chaki apo he oi chaki apo he na trunkashi na wakanta ka na ake na wachiri chashta na wachiri ya na e apa haki de na yahi wopila tranka he na na oyate ki na trunkashi na wakanta haki na chante Iok piana oi chaki apo e oi chaki apo na trunkash na de ampetuki na yahi wopida na wopida pinkta mitaku e oyasi. Oh, wopida! Thank you very much, nephew. My brother Galen for those kind words spoken eloquently in our sacred Dakota language. We say thank you. Now, my friends, you see this beautiful Eagle Staff voucher carried by my brother, Randy Paskaman. We sing this song, we refer to the flag song that goes to the nations, all nations, and to the flags and Eagle Staffs you see before you. Buck Wild, whenever you're ready, would you please honor us with that beautiful flag song?
Thank you very much, Buck Wild, proudly representing Shindley, Arizona. Thank you, boys, for that beautiful flag song. My friends, we go to our next drum, our other invite drum. We refer to a victory song. For we have much to celebrate as Indian nations. We have took a stand and have defended a beautiful way of life that you heard tonight, that sacred language being spoken in our prayer, these songs. We stepped up to the plate and never refused this country for those of us that went into battle and in all the services. We will continue on to carry a special way of life so we celebrate in song and dance with a victory song. Wild Rose, whenever you're ready, sing it proud and loud to the warriors in the house. Thank you very much, Wild Rose. Thank you, boys. I'm going to turn things over to my brother Ruben here and ask him if he would properly introduce all of our head staff, head man, head lady dancer, and our staff carrier, Randy Paskaman. Again, thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Vince and Dennis. Ladies and gentlemen, Friday Night Live, as we showcase our head dancers here that have been chosen. They're leading all of our dancers in the arena. In the customary fashion, we like to dance them in to showcase their style. And we're gonna call upon Buck Wild. Gentlemen, Weston, Jerron, if you could, we're gonna ask our head dancers to come forth. And I wanna bring forth our men dancers. Brando, if he would, take the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Brando Jack, White Cone, Arizona, of the Diné Nation. Jaden Parker, come forth. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jaden Parker from Salamanca, New York, of the Seneca, Allegheny Territories of Upstate New York. These two champion dancers of both traditional style are gonna showcase 
and dance to the beat of Buckwild. Let's dance them in Buckwild. One start, one start, they're on one rockin' tune. that good people put your hands together if you can see these two champions Woo! and now our head dancers of the female division please come forth Josie Bird let's give her a big round of applause Josie Bird is in the house Thomasina Good Eagle ladies and gentlemen right here our head young lady and I'm gonna call upon Wild Rose the Wallahy brothers over here and they got fancy dance songs for days one start, Casey Matt. One start, put it on them. Show them what Yakima's about. Here we go. song was so fast, she danced her right out of her leg and... <laughs> or what was that? Oh, it's your cape. She was spinning so fast, her cape went off that way and one eyelash went the other way. Ah. Not that bad. Ah. You can always tell what part of the Navajo res she is from by her eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Look to the person to your right, dancers. Look to the person to your right, shake their hand. I haven't did that this afternoon, so we're gonna do it right now. Shake their hand, give them an aho. Look to the person to your left, shake their hand, give them an aho. Yeah. It's Friday Night Live, and we're gonna get wild. They said no intertribals. They're gonna go right into it. So with that being said, we're gonna call some judges. And while we're calling the judges, those of you in the crowd, you may be seated. Dancers, let's clear the floor. We need Cheryl McClellan, Raynell Scott, Diane Deonnie Hamilton. We need Southern singing judges, Darian Atakai, Flagstaff, Arizona, Sunny Eagle speaker from Washington, Red Bear McLeod, Seattle, Washington, Chung Ku One Star, Lawrence, Kansas. Lakota Little Sky from Kyle Morley. Nathan Logan from LACA. Ben Henry from Ben Henry. Elton Tortolita from Kiwa. Kelly Lawrence from Oklahoma. And we need these northern judges to check in with Harvey Drever. Elvin Nicotine, Red Pheasant. Tommy Draper, Kirtland, New Mexico. Gordon Smith from Canada. Marlon Denny from Utah. Garrison Deschamp from Musquatchie, Alberta. Charles Lasley Jr. from Dearborn, Michigan. Xavier Littlehead from Lane Deer, Montana. Vince Chicken Rain from Paul Ban, Alberta. And Hampton Only from his birthday is today. Happy birthday, Hampton Only. Also, real quickly, Ruben, listen up. These drum groups, you're gonna have the honors of singing for the women, men 70 and over. So for the women, we're gonna come to Thunder Boys. And for the men, Indian, horse, mic runners, that's where you need to be. Southern drum judges, come on up. Albrana Begay, Vino Harry Cleveland, Stephen Jake, Stacy Whitecloud, Vincent Kozad. We need Stacy, Jaden, Nora Dial, John Sage, Lane Kelly, Misty Green Crew, Star Yellowfish. Northern judges, we're going to come on over here to Marlene Graybear, 
Mary Ann High Eagle, Tawny Baker, Mallory Oaks, Mitchell Byington, Trust Brady, Whitney Spears. Whitney Spears is in the house, brother. Whitney Spears, Bino Garcia, Bobby Badger Jr., Rhea Realbird, and Old Man Lafferty. Those are the judges singing Northern. Once again, we're gonna start at Thunder Boys. Hit your drum, Thunder Boys. Mike Runner, that's where you need to be. Indian Horse, hit your drum. All right, Mike Winters, we need you back in the lineup. Singing judges, make your way on over to Thunder Boys. And if you put a little Cheyenne, Northern Cheyenne, Lame Deer, Montana accent into it, it's called Thunder Boy. J Boy. <coughs> boy. J what? Still in there. Mike LaFrom Boys. Okay, okay, Niskani. J what? Still in there. Elder women, 70 years and older. Come on in, ladies. Elder women, 70 years and older. Contest song, we're gonna go on over to Thunder Boys. And Indian, Indian horse. Ruben, I know, I almost said Indian house, Indian horse, Indian hill. Right after we contest these esteemed elders, 17 and over, Miss Indian World contestants stand by. We're gonna turn it over to Beulah Sunrise. Right after the Indian pageant for Miss Indian World, we got a special, and then we're gonna exhibition Junior Teens and Golden Age. You'll be excused for the evening. Also, Tony D, this is your uh, shout out over the microphone. The other legging has two, been found. One, Tony, two, two, come on two, down. Two. Oh, here oh, okay. Randy Medicine Bear, we're gonna call upon the elder women, 70 years and older, come on into the arena. Ladies and gentlemen, family, friends, and relatives, I know you stood for the whole grand entry. You stood for the flag song and the victory. You got to sit down and take a quick break. But now I'm going to ask you to please stand and rise and honor our 70 years and older women that have chosen to make their way here to the Gathering of Nations Celebration 2018 and to showcase and grace us with their contest. These ladies represent proud indigenous First Nations from U.S. and Canada, and I'm going to ask you to please stand and rise in their honor. For some of them are grandmothers, great grandmothers. These are the wisdom keepers. These are the bosses. Yeah. The boss. Yeah. These are the ones, when they're mad at you, they call you by first and last name. When they're really mad at you, they call you by your first, middle, and last name. And then when they get really, really mad at you, they throw a yad in there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Randy says we're ready to go. Thunder Boys.
applause for these beautiful grandmothers, 70 and over. 10 contestants, that's over 700 plus years of powwow dancing and experience that they have devoted a lifetime to. We say thank you, each and every one of you, for being here. Also, thank you once again, Thunder Boys, for that song. And now we'd like to ask all Southern categories, so you'll be handling all those songs, boys. But in the meantime, take a good look at all of our 70 plus that's out there. We have traditional dancers, war bonnet dancers, fancy feather dancers, southern straight dancers. We got crow style, apsalaka, chicken dance, grass dance, truly represented. And I want to thank my brother Ruben, what he said about these beautiful women, but I'd like to ask you one more time, out of honor and respect, they have earned their dues, these grandfathers, if you can rise one more time. Randy, we ready? Cricket? Gentlemen, you know what to do. Have yourselves a great time. Indian horse, here we go. Indian horse, thank you. Judges, come on up here. Ladies and gentlemen, have a seat at this time and get yourself good and comfortable. Dance judges, don't go too far. Singing judges here. 
We're going to go through a proper introduction of our Miss Indian World contestants. Man, if you weren't at the convention center last night, shame on you. Hey, you missed out big time. All 30 of these beautiful girls presented their own perspective of culture, language, styles that you could not believe to interpret. I can never say enough how much talent we have amongst our Indian nations, and it has been showcased every year through these beautiful girls. How about a round of applause for the Miss Indian World? 30 contestants. Holy. And we're gonna turn things over to our good friend, I love this name, Beulah Sunrise. For those of you that live and reside in the Albuquerque area, she is a proud Diné woman, of course. And she runs a radio station and showcases all kinds of music. Some of you have heard here, contemporary, all kinds of good stuff. So, Beulah, once again, good to see you. Welcome. Ach, yeah. Ya te kwasen. She e ya Beulah Sunrise, you know she, eh? Na kaidene e to heid lini inishle. San clan bashish chin. Oh, greetings, all my people out there. You all look so great. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Yeah, you guys look pretty. Yeah, it's looking pretty. If I could have my Miss Indian World dance judges up here. Moises Gonzalez, Jarrett Martineau, Nakona Burgess, Philip Moseman, Cheyenne Brady. If I could have you all come up to the front of the speaker stand, we're going to get started with our contest. Now, the Miss Indian World Traditional Dance Competition is very unique among uh, pageant dance, dances, I guess dance-offs in a way. Um, and I will explain that to you in just a second. We're going to ask some drums to get ready. We need three different drums, and we're going to divide them up into three groups. Wild Rose, Blackstone, and the boys. Stand by. You're going to each get a contest song from Miss Indian World. We're going to ask our judges all to be, as soon as they give me a high sign, the judges are here. We're going to go ahead and uh, get the girls situated out there on the floor. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about the uh, dance competition for Miss Indian World. Now, all these young ladies uh, come from different walks of life. Some of them have never danced at a powwow before. So what they were told is that they're going to do, have a dance competition. And the music that they are dancing to is powwow music. So they can dance any style that they would like. They can dance their own traditional style uh, from their own tribe. They can dance a powwow style dance or however it is that they would like to express themselves to the music. So it is tradition. So like I said, it will come from their own tribes and they will be uh, showcasing that out there on the floor. Now the judges have a very difficult job. What they have to do is assess and judge each girl. So there is no first, second and third. There is only the girl competing against herself. So they are judged on a point system on several different aspects of dancing. And uh, each judge will turn in a ballot sheet for each girl. That's how it works. So it's very, it's complicated, but it's gonna be awesome and you're gonna see why. Because each of the girls that gets out there, they're gonna be dancing uh, maybe their own style, maybe a powwow style dance, and uh, showcasing their beautiful talents. So we're gonna get, uh, have our committee get the first dance group ready to go on out there. And in the meantime, I will, dis I will um, introduce you to the judges. The judges include Moises Gonzalez. He's an associate professor in urban design in the community and regional planning program at the School of Architecture and Planning at the University of New Mexico. He is a community member of the Canyon de Carnu community in the Sandia Mountains. Our next judge is Jarrett Martineau. Jarrett Martineau is a leading voice in indigenous music and media. He is the founder and creative director of Revolutions Per Minute, a global indigenous music platform and record label, and the host and producer of Reclaimed, a weekly national radio show on CBC Music, focusing on next wave indigenous music. Jared is Nahia and Denise Salin from Frog Lake First Nations and is currently based in Toronto, Canada. That's two of our judges. 
So, um, can we get the first group out there? I'll go through all the judges, but I want to get the first group out there. Let's welcome to them all to the dance competition for Miss Indian World. Everyone give them a big round of applause. Welcome them to the arena. Now they're all told to have an expression to the music their own. So you may see many different dance styles out here. And as they're dancing, the judges will walk around, take a look at each of the young ladies and judge them individually. So this is a very unique dance competition. You need not dance powwow style. So it's all up to them, however they want to express themselves to the music. Now while uh, they're briefing the judges, uh, Nakona Burgess, our next judge, is a member of the Comanche Nation of Oklahoma. He's the son of a former, of the former, former tribal chief and the great grandson of Chief Quana Parker. He's an artist and painter and has perfected a method that he describes as painting outward. He exhibits throughout the USA and beyond Australia, South Africa, many other places. And Nakona received a Bachelor's of Fine Arts from the University of Science and Arts of Oklahoma and a Master's in Art Education from the University of New Mexico. Our next judge, Philip Moshman. He's a grass dancer of Santo Domingo Pueblo, Kiwa, and Red Pheasant Cree First Nations heritage. He's performed throughout Indian country, the United States of America and Canada, and he's an accomplished grass dancer in the powwow circuit. He's won many competitions in dancing and singing, and he's knowledgeable of our Native American ways of life. And our fifth judge is Cheyenne Brady. Cheyenne is from Newtown, North Dakota, where, she's currently, where she currently resides with her family. She works as a health coordinator for the MHA Nation and loves her new venture that's raising her son, Javian. And she, Cheyenne is also a very humble and past Miss Indian world, because she didn't even write that down, but she is a past Miss Indian world. So let's give a big round of applause to our judges. Thank you, everybody. Stand by, Wild Rose, I think we're ready. Yes, we're ready. First contest song for Miss Indian World traditional dance competition, Wild Rose, take it away.
applause. Ladies, line up. Come on over here. And we'll have you line up so the judges can clearly see your numbers. Everybody make sure your number is clearly visible. Look down, check out your number. Is it visible? Is it visible? Make sure it's visible to the judges. Make it visible, not invisible. You all have to be judged. All right, they did such a wonderful job. Let me tell you a little bit about the Miss Indian World pageant. It started Tuesday with a, what was it? Oh, an orientation. They had an orientation about their works uh, that they're gonna be doing the rest of the week. And uh, after that, it was Wednesday where they had their personal interviews. And after Wednesday personal interviews, they had a really lovely dinner at Seasons downtown Albuquerque around Old Town. It was a very, very uh, lovely evening and great food. On Thursday night, last night, they had the traditional talent presentations for Miss Indian World. And they all did a wonderful job. And I must tell you, watching all these ladies out here and seeing all of them and being with them this whole, uh, the last few days, I can tell you that your Miss Indian World will be awesome. Let's give them a big round of applause, group number one. Cheers, everybody. Let them hear you. Come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. All right, thank you very much. Okay, Blackstone, stand by. We have our next group out there. Let our judges regroup and they're all ready to go. I think they are. Okay, Blackstone, We'd be honored if you give us a contest song. Thank you.
job they did. Great, great job. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for that beautiful, beautiful song, Blackstone. And Wild Rose, thank you for your beautiful song that you gave for the girls. We appreciate it very much. All right, the boys stand by. The ladies will be uh, being judged at this point, the second group. And the third group is out on the floor finding their spot. And uh, how do you like the dance competition so far, everyone? So how many of you have noticed that they're dancing different styles other than powwow? So the rest of you guys were sleeping? Hey. Okay, what about, who has noticed powwow dancers out there? <laughs> Man, you guys are sleeping, sleeping. All right, I have to remind you a little bit more about Miss Indian World. Uh, today they had their public speaking competition at stage 49, that was at 1.30, and they all did a wonderful job. Let's give group two a big round of applause. Good job, good job. All right, our last group is ready. And our last group will be, have their wonderful song done by the boys. The boys, please give us a contest song. Group three. Thank you. Ladies, line up. Judges will complete the judging process. Now, the judges have a really tough job because they have to judge each of the girls individually on different aspects of dance. And uh, I believe that they all are very capable judges as well. So we thank them all for taking part this evening. You know, there are 25 judges in all for Miss Indian World. There's five categories that they are uh, competing in, including, as I mentioned, personal interviews, traditional talent presentation, public speaking, which was this afternoon, 
the dance competition and also the essay that they turn in. So out of all of those, these young ladies are being um, watched under a very close eye and they're doing a wonderful job. They, all, they come from the United States and Canada representing very many tribes and different nations. And we thank them for sharing with us all of their culture and their beautiful aspects of their dance and uh, everything about them. So we do appreciate them very much. And let's give a big round of applause to all of their parents and chaperones who have been supporting these young ladies. Come on, Blaze, let them hear it. It's a hard job. It's a hard job. All you mamas and daddies, aunties, uncles, supporting 30 girls who will, uh, one of these ladies will be Miss Indian World, and she will be crowned immediately following the grand entry tomorrow. So if you're here tomorrow and you want to see the crowning, make sure you're in here early because it gets, it, it's very tough to find a seat and you want to see the crowning, you need to be here early. All right, let's give group number three a big round of applause. Yay, group number three, good job. All right, so don't forget crowning tomorrow after the grand entry. And I wanna thank all the judges who have helped us so far throughout the process of Miss India World Pageant. And uh, also our committee members who are hard at work. And we will be back to see you tomorrow. I think that's all I have to tell you. And uh, are you guys having a good time? Or are you gonna be sleeping? Okay, everybody wake up. Let me hear you shout. All right. Well, now I know you're here. So make sure you're here tomorrow, okay? So I'll see you then. I want to thank you all for your time. And I want to thank all the, uh, the drums who sang for us, uh, the boys, uh, Blackstone and Wild Rose. And uh, I want to wish you all a great evening. Have a great time. I can't. How about a round of applause for Beulah Sunrise? All right. Beulah, let me show you how you wake up the crowd. Watch this. Full proof. Do we have any Navajos in the house? Do we have any Pueblos in the house? Do we have any Mescalero Apaches in the house? Hey. Bula said that's the only tribe I have no bloodline with. Hey. Anyway, that's how you wake them up. All right, stand by all of our uh, women's applique. We're going to be coming at you after a special presentation. And these judges stand by. We'll be coming into uh, Dr. Lita's uh, extended uh, women's applique. We're going to be asking Boy Lad Jr. stand by, Cheyenne Brady, Crystal Moose, Marie Drever, and Tony Edwards. Williams, if you'd stand by. But first, we got a very important special here, and I'm going to ask uh, Melanie and Nita to go down the floor. You know, every year, lots of unbelievable positive things happens here at the Gathering of Nations. And this one is on a personal, special note that I'd like to share with you. You know, I hate to say this, but throughout Indian country, we are the highest statistic in many areas, suicide, alcoholism, diabetes, all the above fits us as Indian nations. For those of you that don't know it, Dr. Lita Matthews here, 10 years back, went through a bout, like a lot of our family members and loved ones, and had a liver transplant. And we have some individuals I'm going to introduce to you. I want to thank Marie, who I met for the first time. Where is Marie? Is she down there with you? Marie, hold your hand up. She is the coordinator of a program entitled Preserving the Circle of Life. There's a great need for the following life-saving organ transplants within the Native American community. Right now, over 1,000 Native people are waiting on the organ transplant in the U.S. today alone. These individuals have connections to organ donations and transplants. Sometimes we're fortunate where it's a family member that matches up, but a lot have to wait. You've all been through this as families. 
I want to introduce you to some individuals out there that are here with us that have taken the time to donate one of those organs to help a loved one, a native, another person. And this special is to recognize these proud women, family members, and relatives. I'd like to introduce Miss Renee Robel from the Pueblo Nation, an ambassador to donating of life. She treasures the life she has had for 16 years thanks to the gift from an organ donator. Renee's life was served when she received a heart transplant. How about a round of applause, a recipient right here. I'd like to introduce to you Miss Sabrina Ducey Werrell, Dene Nation, born from the Saltwater Clan, born from the Bitter Water Clan. Sabrina donated a kidney to her father, who had many more years of life, thankful to his daughter's gift. Their brother, Sean, was able to donate his organs and save lives of five other people and family members and relatives. I'd like to introduce to you Brandy Taylor, a legislator from the Lepe Nation, Santa Isabel, California. She's grateful for the gift of her life she received. Brandy will be celebrating 10 years of having and received a life-saving heart transplant in June. I'd like to introduce you Miss Alberta Benet Jones from the Dene tribes of the great state of Arizona. Alberta is the Big Water Clan, born from the Bitter Water Clan. Maternal Clan is Salt. Fraternal Clan is Red Tower. Her children, and Michael and Frederick, both half Dene, half Pebble, from the Big Water Clan, born on the Puerto Rican. Maternal is Bitter's Water Clan. McCarver received a life-saving kidney transplant four years ago, and her son Frederick donated organs and tissues in December of last year and saved the lives of four others at that time. I'd like to introduce Miss Jennifer Hawthorne, Dene Nation, Navajo. Her maternal clan, Mexican clan, Dene clan, paternal Canadian clan, Tower House clan, from Sawmill, Arizona, Jennifer has worked at the University of New Mexico Hospital Transport Services as a patient care coordinator for the last 22 years. Thank you. Many of you know the life-saving story of our own Lita Matthews. It's been almost 10 years since Dr. Lita needed a life-saving liver transplant. Her dear friend, Beverly Singer of Santa Clara Pueblo, made a courageous and generous decision and donated part of her liver to save Dr. Lita's life. What an incredible gift. Maria Sanders from the Donate Life will present the Donate Life Medal for the outstanding contribution in saving lives. Organ donation can preserve the circle of life as people we know, many family members, relatives, we need to talk more about organ donation and becoming organ donors, and you can visit that foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for these recipients, donors, and this program coordinator. We say thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you. One more time, a round of applause, my friends right here. We're asking all of our applique uh, participants to stand by. Indian Hill, stand by. Black Eagle, stand by. And those judges I called upon, stand by. Women applique special right after this. And this is also being uh, sponsored here on behalf of uh, Lita Matthews for all you women applique. This will be 18 and over. They say scrub and applique. And sometimes throughout Indian country, you've heard the term woodland Indian, woodland dancers. The applique is special to many tribes, specifically 
the Ho-Chunk Nation, Winnebago, the Woodland Tribes. It is a dance that is done in a certain way. Songs are sung a certain way. The regalia that says applique you're about to see, the patterns on the dresses and all these women's, why we refer to it as applique. In the olden days, when we didn't have the advantage of wash machines, our grandmas had a scrub board. And that was one of the signature items that they carried was the scrub board along with the fan and other items, elements of our clan system. So we're gonna be calling upon all of our applique women that would like to come forward for the special to kindly make your way out at this time. Those drum groups stand by. We've assembled five judges here to help with Melanie and Lita. And we'll find out two songs and how we're gonna roll the dice here. So women applique, would you please come on out at this time? All of our women's applique. Right after we finish up the applique, we're asking all of our men chicken dancers stand by. All right, come on out ladies, here we go. Our beautiful women applique. Some of these ladies are actual traditional applique dancers. Some of them are jingle dress, fancy, traditional, as they can dance all styles. We say thank you for coming forward and honoring this special. Real quickly, Vince, uh, juniors and teens. Juniors and teens, you are excused for the evening. Golden Age, you are excused for the evening. Elders, you are also excused for the evening. Vince Rain, you are not excused. Them green polka dots, there's no excuse for that. Vince, we'll, ex we'll explain later. Hey. All right. I want to say thank you to all you women here, applique. As I briefly explain to you, I want you to sit back, watch and listen. What's going to happen are two songs coming from the drums, Randy, two songs. And then we'll line them up, and then they'll take numbers. And we'll be announcing winners tomorrow. How many places, Melanie? Three, three of them, all right. So if you've never seen applique, which we just explained, you're in for a special treat. All right, we're ready to go, ladies. Have yourselves a great time. Indian Hill, straight song if you would, boys. Here we go.
Thank you, Indian Hill. How about a round of applause? Song number one, Short Breather. And we're going to be coming back on over here to um, Black Eagle Standby. And uh, Randy, when we finish up the second song, such a large group, we'll get right down the middle of the aisle, right? Right down the middle of the center there. So uh, take your time, judges. Men judges, stand by. Right after this song, we're coming to the men's chicken dance. Thunder Boys, you got that song. So all the men dance judges, stand by. We're going to need you back on the roll here one more time. We need all of our northern and southern. Right after that, we're going to be coming to the Senior Women's Fancy. Sponsored by our head dancer, Josie Bird. Oh, that case, skip that out. Hey, Men's Grass, stand by. And Women's Northern Club. You ready, Randy? <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Black Eagle by way of Hamus. How about it? Warm it up one more time. Thank you very much, Black Eagle. All right, Randy, you know what to do, ladies. If you get yourself in a nice, good-looking straight line, judges stand by. We're going to tally up the score. They're going to be uh, selecting and announcing three winners tomorrow. want to thank all of you beautiful women for coming forward to honor uh, Dr. Lita here and sponsoring Applique. Chicken dancers stand by. I'm going to turn things over to my brother Ruben right here. Men judges, you know who you are. We need both our southern and northern judges. Come on up here and help us out. We're talking about uh, Marlene Graybear, Marianne Heil, Tawny Baker, Mallory Oaks, Michelle Byington, Slush Brady, Whitney Spears, Bino Garcia, Barbie Bodger Jr., Rhea Realbird, and Old Man Lafferty. All right, 
Hey Vince, uh, hello everybody, good afternoon. This is Larry Yazzie here. I'm over here at powwows.com station over here. We're just checking out the numbers here. Paul, what do we have for our numbers viewing at this time? So we've, today we've had over 400,000 people watching our videos with a total social media reach of over 800,000 people. That's almost a million people. 200 more thousand to, to reach a million people. I want to give a shout out to Eric Muntuk, Bustle Dome up in Canada, who's watching all the way from Canada, Merlin James and Whitney Standen from Durango, Colorado. All right, back to you, Vince. All right, Brother Larry, thank you very much. And Paul, thank you for being here every year. Powwows.com live, man. We got Texas coming in. People saying they want a shout out and so forth. So here we go. Chicken dancers, come on out, boys. Come on out. Hurry, hurry, hurry. One song coming at you once again. Thunder Boys, stand by. Hold up, hold up a second, hold up. One group, two songs. Thunder Boy will have song number one, and then we'll kick it on over to Bullhorn. Indian Horse. Bull Horse. Man. <laughs> Real quickly, I want to give a shout out to, uh, to, uh, National Indigenous Culture Expo Powwow, September 28, 29, 30th. Edmonton, Alberta, Edmonton Expo Center. I got some flyers up here. Come and check it out. Jump groups, 30,000 for the first place champion. 30,000, 20,000, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. And then uh, five Gs for dance contest. 18 to 35, 36 to 49. Dance contest, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1,000. 900, 800, 700, 600, 500 is going to be a big one. Who's got uh, the second song? Thunder Boys and Indian Horse. Are they still doing that Teen Girls Fancy Show tonight, George? You see that girl right there walking off? She asked me, and I did not know the answer. Tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon. All right. Here we go. Let's get the contest going on a Friday night. We're kicking on over for the song number one, Thunder Boys, Men's Chicken. Chicken Dancers.
Song number one for the Chicken Dancers. Right on there, boys. Good song. Thunder Boys. Indian Horse, we're going to be coming to you in about 10 seconds of counting. We're going to give these boys a, a quick chance to uh, stretch it out and uh, get a quick drink of water. Then we're kicking it over to the horse. The Indian Horse. The Indian horse that has long hooves, sway back, painted, that eats everything on the res, grass, oats, diapers. Indian horse, song number two. Somebody make some noise! Woo! Man. There's a lot of words a gentleman could say. There are a lot of words that women could say after that. If it's a married woman, she would probably say, oh, that was nice. If it was a single woman, she would probably say, man, that was sexy. Yeah, which one are you? Yeah. All right, second group, come on in. Oh no, that was one group. Men's grass, we're gonna go right into the men's grass. Men's grass dancers, juniors, teens, golden age, elders, you are excused. Yeah. And uh, Dobby, uh, Caspi is here. She pulled in sometime this afternoon and she said, Ruben, I'm back now, behave. So I text her back and I said, well, just for that, you made it worse for your husband. Yeah. Men's grass, come on in, make a big circle. There's probably gonna be a couple groups, so stretch out. Everybody stretch out like Adam Nordwall right now. <laughs> just kidding, Sosie. There ain't nobody that can do that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, except for we men. Yeah. Anyway, grass dancers, come on in, stretch out a little bit. If you don't know how to stretch out, watch Adam Nordwa.
Song number one, Wild Rose, stand by. Do we need the singing judges on over here? Singing judges, report to Wild Rose. Microphone man, come on over here in the front to Wild Rose. Also, Bun Man's in the house. Bun Man came up to me and shook my hand. He said, what up, Rube? And I looked at him and I was like, Bun Man. And he said, what are you doing? He said, I'm a judge. And I said, I didn't call Bun Man. He said, I'm right on there, Garrison. I said, I didn't even know Bun Man's real name. It's kind of like nobody knew Jeremy Dearly's real name. Just knew him as Worm. Wild Rose. The Avengers, right, came out yesterday? Infinity War? Thanos. Thanos kind of looks like my bro, Buck Wallahy. When I saw the preview, I saw Thanos come in. I was like, man, that dude looks just like Buck Wallahy. But anyway, men's grass, what are we doing there, boss? We got one group, two groups, maybe three. Wild Rose, you have... First song, Stand By Blackstone. Nathan Littlechild has CDs for sale at Blackstone, $20. Blackstone. Also, uh, Farron Chemekees. Farron Chemekees has Battle Hill CDs, and he's singing over with Indian Hill. Casey Mack and Wild Rose, they got a, a dual CD called Wild Style. Is that the comedy act you guys do or? Oh no, that's the CD. Wild Rose and Southern Style. They got CDs too. Okay. Uh, we, we, we jumped over Northern Buckskin on the program here. We apologize to the women's Northern Buckskin. We're going to come back to you right after the men's grass. So women's Northern Buckskin, we, we got a little bit ahead of ourselves. I apologize. Three groups, Randy. Three groups. Group number one, Wild Rose. Group number two, Blackstone. Group number three, The Boys. Women's backup judges report to Blackstone. Wild Rose and Black Stone. Make sure it's not a wild stone and a black rose. Good thing they didn't sing with Thunder Boys. It would have been Thunder Rose and Black. Anyway, men's grass, be ready to rock and roll for group number one. All right. All straight. All straight songs. That's coming straight from Harvey Drever. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. You know what would be a pretty cool Facebook post right now or, or a Snapchat, you know, one of those 10-second videos? That moment when Harvey Drever asks you to judge at gathering. Ooh, yeah. Made somebody's night. Three groups. Are we ready to go? All right, here we go. Wild Rose from the Yakima Valley.
everybody make some noise for group number one. Wild Rose, Casey Mack and the boys. Glad you're here, Casey. You're sounding good, brother. I hope. If you like what that song, what you just heard, come on down here and get a CD from one of these boys, and I guarantee you they'll autograph it. Ten? How much are they? Ten dollars? They're not twenty. They're ten. Ooh, yeah. Blackstone, stand by. Group number two. I'm going to be watching George. There's the sign. Sorry, George. Blackstone. Group number two. and gentlemen, make some noise for these boys. Man. Blackstone. Maywa Sin. Make you want to sin. Group number three, come on in, the boys. You have this song, and we got two sets of judges, so as soon as we get ready to rock and roll, and Randy or George gives me the finger. There's the finger. Here we go, the boys. <laughs> Women's Northern Buckskin, you're next. <laughs> Thank you. 
One more time for group number three. Men's grass on a Friday night contest here at Albuquerque at the Gathering of the Nations. Woo, man. Awesome singing and awesome dancing. Awesome singing and awesome dancing. You too, Bart. Yeah. All right. All right, now I'm right here with Todd, the one and only Indian Vans distributor. He's got some cool colors that have come in, and I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about it. Well, thanks, Jason. Yeah, uh, every year for 12 years now, we've been doing the All Nation Skate Jam over at uh, Los Altos Skate Park. And so every year, Vans is real gracious to uh, make special Pendleton Vans for us. We've got some up in the booth. We're out in the tent there. Come on out and check out what we got. Uh, they're running out fast, but uh, they're a real hot item. And uh, obviously, if you get a pair of these, you're going to be the coolest kid on your res. Or the coolest grandma or grandpa, too. So, so go check out that. They're going to open up the skate jam tomorrow. Might be your only time to hear Harvey Drever sing. He's going to be singing to start that off tomorrow. Exactly, yeah. Harvey, Harvey's been gracious enough to uh, help us with that. And over at Los Altos, from about 10 to 4, Steve Van Dorn and Tony Alva from Vans are going to be there and giving away all kinds of free swag. They uh, printed up over 700 shirts they're going to give away tomorrow. So uh, we're pretty excited about that. You can go get in line, get some free Vans swag, and eat all for free. All right, there you go. Go get your Vans out in the tent. Back to you. Uh, thank you, Jason. One group, one song. We're going to come on over here to Indian Hill. These boys out of Barstow, California. One of the invited drums to Lame Deer, Montana, 4th of July celebration. Indian Hill, contest song, please.
Beautiful song, beautiful dancing. A round of applause for the Northern Buckskid. Women's Northern Cloth, come on into the arena. Singing for you, Black Eagle. Also, when we get to the women's Southern Cloth, Irwin needs his Southern singing judges on over to Thunder Hill. Thunder Hill. Perry Cheevers. Jeeves got that brand new CD, huh, Bobby? Uh-huh. All kinds of CDs. CD tapes. Quick shout out to uh, to uh, Miss Indian World Judge number 18. We found your ribbon up here. One of the grass dancers uh, fell off their outfit, so I don't know the story behind that, but we have it up here. One group, one song. We're ready to go, Black Eagle. Contest song, please.
All right, ladies, if you'd be so kind, just remain standing, ladies. Uh, arena directors are going to ask for one more song. And we're going to be kicking it out over here to Thunder Boys. Stand by. Song number two, Cricket, we want a round dance or a straight song? Straight, round dance. Right, you want one more song, right? All right, and then right after this, we're going to be kicking it right down to the women's southern cloth and Thunder Hill standby. Hey, speaking of Thunder Hill, Vince, let me see you whip, let me see you nay nay, Ruben. All right, we ready, brother? One more time, all right. Thunder, <laughs> Thunder boys, whenever you're ready, coming apart here. Southern drum judges over to Thunder Hill, all right. round of applause warm it up one more time thank you very much thunder boys arena directors let's get these beautiful women in a nice straight line right down the center in the meantime we're gonna kick it right down the line here and ask our uh, women's southern cloth come on out Thunder Hill apparently we'll go with one song Ruben hey Stand by. The northern singing is complete. So if we get to a northern drum and they ask for a second song, whether it's the AD or whatever, now we'll leave it up to you and you can start singing some change-up songs. But we still got to get through our southern drums. My friends, when we get through the women's uh, southern buckskin, men's northern traditional, women's jingle, men's southern fancy, women's southern fancy, men's southern straight, 
They'll conclude that, and then we're going to go into what we call the Neon Men's Women's Fancy. And we'll have a great midnight special on that. All right, last call. Women's Southern. Come on out, girls, one more time. Sometimes when the categories are a little too large, they make that choice of two songs. That's where it go. Even though we tell you drum groups where you're at, just be prepared. If we've got to skip over you, bounce back to the next one. So Thunder Hill, stand by for the... Women's Southern Straight. One group, one song. All right, a decision's been made. <laughs> 